I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss how to find limit of piecewise function. Find following limits of f of x equal to minus 1 when x is less than or equal to minus 2, x over 2 when x is greater than minus 2 but less than or equal to 2 and x when x is greater than 2. You need to find limit of f of x when x approaches minus pi, limit when x approaches 0 for the given function, limit when x approaches minus 2 for f of x, and limit when x approaches 2 for f of x. To begin with, let me sketch the graph of this function, right? That is going to help us a lot. So we have three different pieces here. Now they split at minus 2 and 2 right so let's say this is this is minus 2 for us okay and this is 2 for us so we'll try to sketch the functions for x less than equal to minus 2 it is minus 1 so let's say this is minus 1 so it is less than equal to so we have filled in circle and kind of like this right so this is minus 1 for us okay if the values between minus 2, so this is minus 2, right, and 2, that is this value, in between, the value of the function is x over 2, that means half of the value. Minus 2 is not included in this particular piece. So we'll start with open circle. If I substitute minus 2, I get minus 1, right? So what I get here is minus 1. Let me use a different ink to, to show the center part. So if I substitute minus 2, I get minus 1, which is the same point, but it is an open circle, right? So this one. And if I substitute 2, I get plus 1. So if I substitute 2, I get plus 1. Let's say this is plus 1 for us, okay? Plus 1. If I substitute 0, I get 0. So it's a straight line joining these two points. Since 2 is included, we'll fill this up. Do you get an idea? So that is how this function is, correct? Now, what happens when x is greater than 2? If x is greater than 2, then the value is x, right? So, so at 2, let me use a different ink now again. At 2, the value will be, I'm sorry, this was 1, I'm sorry. Uh, this is 1, right? Yeah, this, that's what I did, that's correct. Okay, this is 1, perfect. Now. At 2, x will be 2. So let this be 2. Perfect. So at 2, it is 2. So we'll make an open circle here. And as it moves on, at 3, it will be 3. So it'll be kind of like this. Do you see that? So that is how the third piece is going to be. Perfect. We see that the first two pieces overlap. Second and third do not overlap. They give you a jump discontinuity. Right? Keep that in mind. And then answer the questions okay the first one here is limit when x approaches minus pi now minus pi is kind of minus 3.14 right so we know pi minus pi will be minus 3.14 correct that means we are talking about this interval less than minus 2 so we are somewhere here so the limit should be minus 1 so this limit is minus one. Do you see that? Since we are, we have to consider the first leg, which is less than minus two. Perfect. So we get minus one. The second one here is limit when x approaches zero. So when x approaches zero, it is between this interval minus two to two. So that equation is valid. It is a continuous equation. If I substitute zero here, I get zero over two, which is equal to zero. So the limit exists and it is zero. Now these are the tricky parts. What is the limit of the function at minus two? So at minus two, we have to look into both of these functions, right? This is while approaching from the left side. So we find this limit like this. We say limit x approaches minus two from the left side, that minus on the top for the given function is so when you approach from the left side, you approach the value which is minus 1. It is minus 1. Similarly, we find limit when x approaches minus 2, this time from the right side. If you approach from the right side, you come along this path and you 
reach minus 1. So that is also equal to minus 1. Now since limit from left side, which is x approaches minus 2 from left, is equal to limit when x approaches minus 2 from the right for the q1 function is same we say the limit exists and it is minus 1 so we write this limit as minus 1 now similarly let's analyze the part d now here if you approach from left side what is the limit of this function limit when x approaches 2 from left side for the given function is what so if I approach from the left side, I'm approaching the value 1. So this is equal to 1. How about limit? When x approaches 2 from the right side, that means from this side. If I approach from this side, I hit this third piece, right, and land up at 2. So for this given function, this value is 2. We find that they are different, correct? You can also see there is a jump discontinuity. Is it okay? Jump discontinuity. Okay, say they are not equal. So we find that the limit when x approaches 2 from the left side for the given function is not equal to limit when x approaches 2 from the right side for the same function, right? Therefore, limit does not exist at as x approaches 2. Is it okay? As x approaches 2, correct? So that is how you have to find limit for a piecewise function. You have to consider one side limit. Is it okay? And both should be same. Equal for limit to exist. Do you understand? That's kind of very critical to understand and appreciate. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always search my videos by Anil Kumar Limits Playlist to look into variety of questions on this topic. Thank you and all the best.